Okay, looks like the squall passed me the second one. Now I've got the reef or the sail up off the deck with the double reef in. Um, I don't know how many square feet this is, but it's a little more controllable. And uh, I'm still heading for Shark River. I still have a quick release. I've got my, uh, right down here you can see, I've got my main sheet sort of half cleated there. It's a quick release cleat. I don't have to hold on. My hand is cramping. I've been hanging on to the halyard for a few hours now and uh, uh, hand was cramping up and now I, I got that partial quick release in there and it doesn't take as much pressure. Um, according to my GPS I'm uh, 4.68 miles from the Shark River and uh, I can see the landscape in front of me finally. It's been a while since I've seen it. It's been so dark and gloomy out here. Um, but I'm, I'm going a fairly moderate speed right now, but I'm going to leave that double reef in there because I might get hit again. Um, I'm a little leery right now, and uh, I want to I want to get in as quick as I can. But I want that thing. Uh, I want a, a controllable sail at the same time. So anyway, it's a little bit more relaxed here right now. Um, I, I hope none of our people were caught out in that unprepared. Well, I'm going to take a little self-portrait here. Just came through the most uh, terrifying little experiences of my life out on the water. Um, a storm hit me real hard, real fast. I, I barely had 10 seconds notice and it was on me. And so I had to get things going while the storm hit and my rudder jammed and uh, I had to pee. <laughs> and and uh, batteries went dead on the, on the spot and then I got it working again, but then the spot went dead completely. Um, so I don't know if it was batteries in the first place or, or what, but the spot isn't working. Um, I was going so fast, I, I couldn't, uh, I tried to, to, you know, turn the boat and I couldn't turn it. My rudder got jammed up. I don't know what happened. Finally broke, broke free and it's working again now, but, um, so, so the only way I could slow myself down, I mean, I was going so fast, it was just incredible. And, and then these big breaking waves would come behind me and push the bow way under. The almas would kept me up. I, I thought I was going to pitch pole a couple of times. But the only way I could reduce my speed a little bit was to actually uh, let the sail down. And I, I actually took the sail down completely, held it under my arm here on the left side, you know, so the, all the sail would not get blown out. And, uh, and just tried to keep the boat on track and, and tried to uh, uh, steer every time I got caught in one of the waves and, and uh, um, just, just stay up. I, I was going very, very fast. Even, even with all my sail down, I was going extremely fast. Um, fortunately, it was right in the direction I wanted to go. <laughs> so all that speed paid off, but um, Right now, um, I, then I got hit by, that one uh, seemed to recover, uh, seemed to die down a little bit, and then I put in a reef, and I raised the sail, but I only raised it partially off the deck, so I had a reef in it, and then it was partially on the deck anyway, because I couldn't get the second reef in for a while. And then uh, I sailed like that for quite a way, and then I got hit by a second uh, squall. And, but fortunately then I was able to have everything on the deck and un more under control. And then I got, um, after that squall line passed, I was able to get the second reef in. And, ha and then I have that on the deck. And then got hit again. And then, uh, so I had two reefs in with the sail on the deck and still making good time. 
and then now it has died down again and now I've got the double reef I got all kinds of condensation in my camera I can see the, see it in the lens there's condensation inside the camera so I don't know what how this camera is shot it's supposed to be waterproof to 30 feet but uh, we took a, we took an awful lot of beating out here and everything broke my spot broke and my camera now got water in it so I don't know but anyway, um, I'm still making decent time. I'm on a double reef on the main though, and I'm still holding the halyard by hand. So in case I have to drop it, if another squall line hits me, but I don't, I don't see one. I don't see one coming, and, and hopefully, hopefully that'll be the last one. And. Uh, I should be making uh, Shark River in about uh, an hour and 19 minutes, so it's, this camera is almost shot, I think. Well, I shook out the second reef. Now I only have one reef in the sail. The sky looks pretty clear behind me, so I'm hoping for the best. Um, about an hour to Shark River from here. Things are much calmer right now and uh, I'm glad of it. And uh, I can't wait to get into Flamingo and get uh, sorted out here and get the water out of the boat. I'm sitting in water right now. Um, I mean it's not high enough that I'm sitting in it but everything is wet. My pants are seat are wet and all of that. So uh, it'll it'll be nice to get to Flamingo and, and get cleaned up. And well, at last I got to the Shark River entrance here, and you'll never guess the wind is in my face. So I'm going to have to paddle up the Shark River. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's one thing after another. The spot is so bad. It's I don't know if it's been. It started sending out what looked like a help message all on its own. I never touched the help button. I tried to turn off the help and it wouldn't go off and I tried to turn, take the batteries out, put them back in, restart the spot, didn't work. Finally uh, it kept wanting to send a help message so I just took the batteries out. Um, I don't know, this is really bad. This, these spots are not reliable. Um, something's got to be done about it. Well I finally made it into the Joe River. And I'm getting a nice little sail here to the next waypoint. Um, doing 3.11 knots and not working hard to do it. That's a rarity these days. Anyway, just cruising along. I hope to make it into Flamingo in a few hours. If it was all this way, it would be really nice. But. Uh, the Joe River is actually a lot more open than I pictured. Of course, I'm not, I'm not deep into it yet, but there's a big open bay here, and uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll narrow down up here a ways before I get to the Buttonwood Canal. But uh, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, these Amas really did the trick for me today. I'll tell you, I, I don't know what I would have done out there without them. Um, my spot is dead. I'm kind of worried that everybody is going to be worried about me if they hear about that squall. Um, and, my, and, I, they're, and they're not getting any spot information, but I've tried to make a phone call and I'm not close enough in yet. So uh, I'm going to keep trying and get a call out as quick as I can and I'm okay.